Welcome to day two on the Appalachian Trail. It's raining. <laughs> now you know why I was so happy and grateful for such a beautiful day on my first day because I knew this was coming. What an interesting night to say the least. There were um, Army Ranger troops coming through here multiple times last night. I heard them at least, I think at least three times. And there were a lot of them. And they sometimes were silent and all you could hear was all their gear and their, like they sound like they were literally going right by the side of my tent. And um, another time you could hear like a little bit of talking and they didn't really have any lights, so I'm guessing they had night vision goggles. And it seemed like whoever was at the end of their convoy had the lights and they were talking a little bit. But it's, it might sound bizarre, but it was actually very comforting having them coming through. I don't know. It made me feel good. Um, didn't bother me at all. Didn't scare me. It was nice. And this morning, I heard a couple explosions. So they must have been a little off in the distance, not right here, but off in the distance. It's kind of wild. I think this is the only time that's going to happen where it's something I can smile about and not be concerned. My plan was to wait until this let up a little bit to pack up. But Jim has already given me a weather update and it sounds like it's probably going to be raining all day. So I'm probably going to start to get moving. I'm going to try and do some stretching. Um, I did not sleep good. I didn't think I was going to, but I did not sleep good at all. Um, I just tossed and turned and... I don't know. My earplugs help a lot. Because it muffles things. I have a beautiful picture of the stars. Um, I'll throw that in there. But might not be very much filming today because of the rain. And I don't have an umbrella, so I don't want to ruin my phone. Anyway, I'll talk soon. Okay, so this is what is called a pack explosion. <laughs> it's like literally all my crap everywhere. Oh, I have a little bug in here. I'm trying to pack up at least my sleeping bag and my inflatable sleeping pad so that I can do some stretching. I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh, struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. I'm looking for a stuff sack for my sleeping bag. It really should not be that hard to find because it's in here somewhere. Oh, lordy, lordy. It's a good thing I don't have to be anywhere at a certain time because that ain't happening. Oh, we'll find it eventually.
have left the shelter and it's a beautiful morning. Uh, it's actually not raining, but it's drizzly. So I haven't taken my rain coat or my rain pants off yet. <sighs> but I guarantee if we go up a hill, they're coming off or bigger hill. Um, took me forever to get my shit together this morning, which is not a surprise at all. Um, these guys are so cool. They're totally patient. They're like, we're not in a rush. <laughs> so, and they were doing stuff too. So we ended up leaving together. Me, Jim up ahead and Craig is behind me. Um, we're gonna go up to Gooch, as I mentioned last night. And we'll decide from there if we wanna push on to make Thursday's miles a little more manageable. Um, so, but it's so pretty with the fog in the trees, isn't it? It's almost mysterious and eerie, but it isn't. It's so quiet. We saw the truck back there at Cooper Gap. That was the one that obviously all the troops were in last night or some of the troops that we heard coming through camp. Um, it was pretty funny. So, okay. Probably no views today from any mountains, but that's all right. The woods are just gorgeous. Okay, good morning. It's uh, still a beautiful, mystical, foggy morning, um, which is really cool. I guess I don't really mind it. Uh, it's a little cool, which is nice for hiking. Um, it sort of went from a drizzle to a little bit more of a light rain. Um, I was tempted to take off my <laughs> take off my raincoat, but I didn't. Oh, I can see I'm setting a new fashion trend with my hair. Oh, geez. <laughs> Whatever, okay. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> um, anyway, we're uh, hiking along and really enjoying this. I'm gonna flip this around because I think it's cooler for you to see what I'm looking at than looking at me. What I tell ya, isn't this wild? <laughs> it's really cool. Obviously, I'm really videoing or videotaping or recording um, when it's not uphill as much. Just to save you from listening to me I'm trying to catch my breath. So it's Wednesday, hump day. Happy hump day. Hope everyone's having a good day. And finding gratitude somewhere in the moments of your day, even if there's a lot of suck happening. Try to find a moment or a ray of sunshine for yourself. So beautiful. It's a rain in. <laughs> ah, no rain, no pain, no mane. How's that? I can't take credit for that one. Somebody else came up with it long before me. Long before my footprints made their mark on this trail. Looking for my friends. Yeah, I can hear them. <laughs> They're not too far behind me. It's still really beautiful, I have to say, <laughs> despite the rain. I probably won't be saying that in three hours, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, we are going up to Sassafras Mountain, which the ranger, Ranger Bo, told Jim and I that this was going to be a pretty deep, steep climb, which I'm so glad I didn't try to do this yesterday. Hey, Michelle. There's Jim. 
Hey, Jim. Hey, what's up, Craig? <laughs> hey, Craig. Woo! <laughs> We're getting it done. <laughs> Huffing and puffing. <laughs> These guys are awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want you to think it was all flat. And I'm just out here taking a walk in the park. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Holy moly. Whew. Oh. This is, I think, the steep climb of the day. Or the, yeah, the biggest one. The other ones were just a warm up. Make sure all those muscles are on fire. What? I said fire. Oh. Back to a drizzle. Ooh, there's a mountain over there. Check that out. I bet we're going there <laughs> at some point. saw one other person on the trail, another person named Jim. None of us have our trail names yet. <laughs> um, and then we saw a hammock on the side. Somebody was definitely sleeping in. Can't say I blame them. Well, we slept in today for sure. But we did that intentionally knowing that it was gonna rain, hoping that might be able to wait it out before we had to pack up our tents, but nope. My tent is covered with mud and it's wet. And I had a really hard time. I don't know why, I had a really hard time getting all my shit back in my pack. I'm like, okay, this all fit fine yesterday. But for some reason, my pack shrunk in the sun Kidding. It certainly felt that way. I'll tell you. Yes, sirree. Yes, sirree. Ooh. Awesome. Nothing like a mountain to get that heart pumping. Let's get it. All right. So I just had this whole little segment recorded when we found a snail. Well, Jim found a couple snails and you could hear the Black Hawk helicopter off in the distance. I'm assuming it's a Black Hawk, I don't know. And uh, I realized I wasn't even recording. Duh. <laughs> oh my God, I wonder how many times I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Hopefully not anymore. Um, anyway, just trying to keep moving because it's just raw out. And as soon as you stop moving, it just sort of seeps in, at least for me. And my hands were starting to get really cold. So I'm feeling good now. I've just gotta get moving. That's the good thing. Um, it gets you moving when it's not great weather because you wanna stay warm. So uh, we got about four miles to go to get to Gap, Go Gooch Gap. Yeah, I mean, if I and then we might go, we'll see how Craig's, Craig's feeling, how we're all feeling. And we get to Gooch to decide if we want to go a little bit further. There's a place we can camp uh, that'll help make the mileage tomorrow a little less daunting. Um, divvy it up by a few miles anyway to try and help. So uh, we'll see. Talk to you soon. seen this in other people's videos, this sort of ridge walk, which is really cool. 
or not really, I don't know if it's a ridge walk or what it is, but it's just walking along a path on the side of the mountain. You can see this is on my right side. Here's the path. And this is on my left. Let's see how far down it goes. It's just so beautiful. I can't even, like just this gentle sound of rain hitting the decaying leaves on the ground. It's such a peaceful, tranquil sound. It's very soothing. I think I like the sound of the raindrops on the leaves better than the raindrops on my tent. <laughs> Although last night I did have earplugs in and it muffled it so it almost sounded more like this, which was nice. This is another pretty section. You can see all the mountain laurel on both sides of the trail. It's so pretty. Say hi guys! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Camping of Creek. Hmm. It's a beautiful creek. Oh, I wonder if this is justice. That is beautiful. Pine trees. Well, hemlock, spruce family. Oh, love it. It's my kind of woods. normally hike. All right, this is Obi's pack. Holy shit, look at that. Your mom's watching this video. You Whoa, it. dude. That's impressive. Wow. Now Did you love away. every bit of it? 
Most of it. Most of it? <laughs> I mean, you know. It's on your resume now, right? Well, you know what? I'm retired. I'm, I'm actually double retired. I'm double done. Me too. That is awesome. That's really, really awesome. So, Congratulations on all of that. We just freaking hike. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Well, it was awesome to meet you. It's awesome to meet you guys. Hey, go enjoy your point too. Yeah, I'm going to go enjoy my point too. <laughs> all right, take it easy. So we just had lunch at Gooch Gap Shelter. I like saying Gooch. Goochie, Gucci. <laughs> anyway, some of the guys had ramen. It looked so good. I had salami and cheese, which I love, don't get me wrong, but something hot on a day like this probably would have been really nice. Um, they're behind me. I need to keep moving, stay warm. Um, we're gonna go to Woody Gap. So we're gonna take another five miles today, even though I could have easily just pitched my tent and been done for today. Um, getting to Woody Gap today will save us that five miles tomorrow, getting into Neil's Gap, which I would rather do this today and get to Neil Gap sooner because I have a warm cabin with a bed waiting for me. And I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh, look at that thing on the tree. Hmm. My daughter, Erica, <laughs> has a name for those things. She calls them bursitis trees. <laughs> That's a damn big one, honey. Don't you think? Shit. What? All right. So, it's still drizzling. But, it's still pretty. Talk soon. Toodaloo. Hey, so, I was just thinking. Um, I'm just talking about stuff that seems interesting to me or that might be of interest to you. So if there's something in particular that you would appreciate me talking about or showing on video, like if you wanted to see each of the shelters or privies or water sources, or if anyone's looking for that level of intel, I'm happy to oblige. Um, and if you have questions, as soon as I can get onto YouTube and look, I will certainly do my best to keep up. So just, you know, this, is, this isn't this is just for me. This is for all of us to experience together. So if there's things that you wanna hear about or see or anything like that, or you have questions or you have comments, if, you, if I said something and you disagree or you have a different experience that, you know, is more in depth than mine, then share it. Let's just share information and, you know, other hikers can maybe benefit too. So, okay, just wanted to mention that. Thanks. Okay, we finally finished, finally called it a day. I don't even know how many miles we did today. I don't know what to believe. Like my watch says 12. Everything says something different, so I don't know. All I know is it was enough. This is where we set up camp. We didn't even get to a shelter. We didn't even get all the way to the next spot. We're like, just fuck it. Oh, damn, sorry. I'm beat, I'm beat, I'm sorry. I do apologize. So anybody who's got kids listening, please, please. I am trying to make a conscious effort not to talk like a truck driver. No offense to truck drivers. I love talking like a truck driver. So this is where we're at. Jim's over here. I'm here. Craig and the other guy are over there, a little further down. We just got here first, found a flat spot and pitched our tents. Everything is wet and everything is muddy. So everything is covered. 
with grit. Tomorrow I sleep in a bed in a warm room and I can dry all this stuff out and hopefully clean some of it off and whatever. Yeah, um, so I think at this point we're just gonna eat, call it a day and get some sleep. I don't know if I have enough signal to post any videos again today. I've only had one bar. I don't know who said that you have all kinds of service on the AT if you have Verizon, but I don't think that's accurate. I bet the best I've had, I think, is two bars at one point. And then when I tried to get on to YouTube to post my video, it just spun. So I'm like, okay. I don't know if I'm doing any more video tonight. I just want to eat and go to sleep. Hopefully sleep will come easy to me today. So hope everyone is well. Have an awesome night. Yeah.